Hello and welcome to our video. My name is Shaden and in this video we'll look at implementing token-based authentication in your Joomla 4 website. Now Joomla 4 has this feature by default. I'm just going to demo how you can use this feature. So it's a combination of two new features. One is accessing all your data using API and second is the ability to access that data using API but not using your user and password, but instead using a token. And obviously the benefit of using a token is you're not sharing your user and password with uh, the developer or whoever is doing the implementation for you. And you can disable the token anytime or reset the token anytime you like and certainly limit access. So using a token, the person is obviously not ex adding extensions uh, to your Joomla website. Or, or you know making major critical changes there are still things can be done your articles can be deleted and other things but there are certain limitations to what can be done using token and what can actually be done using you know the Joomla admin console the very first step is to go and make sure the token plugins are enabled so we'll go to system and plugins here search for token you will see two plugins we go into each one of them and enable it. And here's our second plugin and enable it. Just the default settings. Now the Joomla, uh, your Joomla install is ready to accept token based authentication calls. All we have to do is create a token uh, for any of the users and start using it. So we'll go to users manage. Uh, we already have one user on this website right now, so we do that. And go to Joomla API token tab. As you can see, I'm doing this the first time. I don't have a token. If I go ahead and save it, it will generate a token for me. And there's a token. And you can reset it and disable it if you want right here. So we'll not be doing that. We don't need to. Just copy this token. And we'll be using Postman for this demo. And let's open up Postman. So in Postman, you you know, and I'm not going to cover everything here, just the token part. But this is how you do API requests in Joomla. Uh, this is the URL for getting all your articles. All right, and it's a GET request. And in authorization, you need to select bearer token. So it's standard token-based authentication. No, no rocket science there. All right, and paste the token we got so let me copy it again all right I just copied it paste it here okay and we will send the request and there you go those are the articles in our Joomla website now in case you don't want to use the token and I'll just take a minute to do the basic authentication as well you can use the username and password for your website and also do it that way but again the whole purpose of this tutorial is to do it based on token so you can do it uh, based on bearer token or basic authentication those are the two methods that are available in Joomla right now and that's it thanks for watching